Okay, everyone, let's continue on to section 9, ACI management and troubleshooting. Understanding faults and help scores. Okay, everyone, in this video, we are taking a look at the help and fault scores in the ACI APIC. So it's a great indicator of what might be going on with a certain communication between tenants, some behavior that you're seeing in the APEC. Something is not working for you after you configure it. Most of the time, you're gonna run into that. And it's because either you miss an object, you did not attach an object properly, or there is physical connectivity issues. So once we log in onto the APEC and we are on the dashboard, we are seeing a global system health, which it's basically the physical aspect of the fabric. We see a 96%, the total of the health. This is the percentage of once we calculate the health score of each individual node, we get a total system health of 96. How do we come up with this number? There's probably issues on the device. So let's take a look at the device and see why it's not 100%. So if we take a look at this one and we see the health score of LEAF 101 and it's going up, we want to take a look and see the health. Okay, so this is what we see. We see that the system is reporting two faults and those are intermediate faults, which we need to take a look at that. Okay, one of those faults has to do with the BGP entity in LEAF 101 and the other one is regarding the chassis so it's a physical issue and finally there is a time issue probably it's the clocks on the leaves are out of sync and this is why it's causing this health score to fall if we go to faults we can actually see the information for each individual trigger that caused the fault health score to drop right so we have those triggers and then we want to know about those triggers we go onto faults and then there he goes. So the first one is regarding the infrastructure. So this is the physical aspect of the fabric. And in this case, leaf 101 is environmental. And let's expand this power supply down. So yes, I have two power supplies on leaf 101. Only one is plugged in the other one is down. So it's telling me, hey, you're not redundant when it comes to power supply. So let me double click. If we want to see more information, we can just double click the actual fault and it actually tells us exactly what it is. So it goes all the way into the path of that particular object, in this case, the power supply, and tells us what's going on. Power supply is shut down, and if there is resolution, which in this case we know what we need to do, it also tells you what you can do about it, okay? This is one way of seeing the health score. The other way, on the tenant itself, you might be missing a configuration, and you might be wondering, what it is okay so let's go into tenants and let's trigger something okay so yeah we can use web srv farm let me expand application profiles web app one let me see what we can break here app srv okay general oh okay let's just take it out of the bridge domain but like for example you build a epg but you forgot to attach the bridge domain to it so we are clearing this out we'll press submit and we should now get a lower health score. Before we have it 100%, now we should be lower than that. Refresh, and yes, sure enough, we already have a lower health score and we have two trigger faults. If we go back onto the tenants, that particular tenant should be reporting a lower health score than the rest of my tenants, which they are currently in 100. So let me go here on six. Yeah, sure enough. So now we have a lower health score because we just remove a configuration that is required in the EPG. So let's take a look at the web SRV farm. Now let's take a look at the EPG that we just messed up. And okay, so I have a fault. I don't know how to look for what is causing it. You click on the EPG and if you see on general, there's a fault, actually there's two. We click on faults and then we see here what the issue is. The issue is obviously, remove the bridge domain out of the EPG. So this is why it's triggering it. If there is not enough information here, then you can go to health, which will give you an idea of where the issue might be. In this case, you can see out of the app SRVS, which is the EPG, we have the endpoint profile app SRVS. And then it's telling me there's a network configuration issue. And that is lowering the health score to 98 on the EPG. So if we click there, we have a health score of 98 and it's due to a network configuration issue. Obviously, again, we know because we just removed the bridge domain for this demonstration. 
And if you go to faults, it basically tells you what the issue is. So if we go ahead back and let's reattach the bridge domain again, and it's going to be app SRV SBD. We'll press submit and this should go out. Let me refresh and not yet, but now if we go to faults, it should be clearing. Okay, let me uh, expand here and it already went away. So now if we go back, yeah, sure enough, the health score is back to healthy, you know, 100%. How do we see the health score configuration itself or how it will determine what score to give out to a particular scenario? We go to that fabric, we go to fabric policies, and then we go to global policies. And this is where we see the health score policies, right? And here it tells you how do we impact or how does the APIC impact the health and gives out that score. And basically it's this simple formula. So if you are good at math, go ahead. Understand that, you know, try to figure it out and let me know how it goes. So basically what it tells, it's calculated on the false rates, false rates directly on that object. So if we have the particular tenant that we just made that change, the web SRB farm, and then we did that removal of the bridge domain inside app SRVS, that will trigger a health score due to raising a fault. So because we raise a fault, it actually lowered the health score. So once we resolve or remediate that fault issue, the health score should go back to 100%. If we go back into all tenants, and let's take a look at web SRB, which is page six. And now it's hundred percent. So we now know that if we're back in healthy state, if something is lower than 98%, there's way more issues. So definitely you have to take close attention to what's going on on your tenant. Okay. Another item. So if we go into inventory, let me go ahead into inventory fabric inventory, and let's go under pot one. Let me go onto leaf one or two. If there is a health issue, it's going to show me the score right now. So let me take a look here on their health. Yeah, 98%. And we have a couple of issues. There is an issue that seems to be with BGP entity, BGP instance. And that is telling me the BGP for VRF. Let me take a look at that. For VRF external site, site one. And probably it's because we... You know, that was another video that we configured that external site one. For some reason, we might disconnect it, that connectivity. I might remove it. So now it's triggering that alert. There's another alert or fault regarding the chassis. And this is the physical aspect. So if you double click, yes, sure enough, there is a power supply issue. And if we take a look at that power supply issue, I am pretty sure that is because the second power supply is down. So let me go on to faults. Peer state, it's not established. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Site one, yeah, there's no BGP adjacency, so it's triggering that fault. And then, sure enough, we have the infrastructure fault, which is telling me that the power supply is shut down. Okay, and there you have it. Health score are a great way to troubleshoot, it gives you the ability to pinpoint closer to what the issue might be happening, but still, you know, you have to know your ACI topology to properly troubleshoot it. Okay.